Hey mates, I'm Alex. Alan Gaston. Welcome to Power Mates. This is a place to learn and share about fabric and power platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So, hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we are going to dive into the connectivity for on-premise sources into Microsoft Fabric. Yeah, let's check on some of the details around how this works in Fabric. And remember that we are going to be uh, sharing some of the uh, links in the comments of this video and the description of this video. Okay, let's try to track some of those options, Gaston. Let's start with a quick recap on where we need to start and, and discover that configuration that you need to set up. Uh, to be able to ingest data from uh, an on-premise to Microsoft Fabric. Yeah, sounds good, Alex. Uh, let's uh, start heading over to my machine and check how to set all these kind of configurations. Remember that this is a topic that we've been discussing with clients, colleagues, and usually with data engineers seem that they're approaching this from a Azure Data Factory perspective, we mm -hmm. used to have link services to land data from and connect services from on-premises to the cloud. In this case, the big difference for Fabric is we are going to be leveraging on-premises data gateways. Remember from Power BI set of things that you can connect Power BI to refresh data sources from on-premises into Power BI is kind of the same way that we can uh, pull in into uh, this stream. So that being said, we are going to be covering uh, how to do this. Let's start with the homepage. This is Microsoft Fabric as usual. First of all, we need to check a couple of things. First, you can go to settings and then go to your manage connections and gateways. That is first option that you can make it happen. Second, you can go to your uh, on-premises data gateways and check that you are having this connection up and running. Of course, remember that if you don't install the, the gateway itself, you can download your on-premises data gateway clicking on the top right corner up here. And you're going to see that uh, in that up corner, you have that option of uh, data gateway and you can go ahead and download your data gateway. That is going to download the installer in top of your machine. After you install the data gateway, you're going to see this icon in your machine. So you can connect the data gateway. You can check that your data gateway is online and up and running. You just need your email to connect to your instance in your Fabric tenant. So gotcha. after you do the installation, the second step is leveraging the connection to your data source. In my case, in my scenario, as uh, we are showing with on-premises connection, I have my old friend here, SQL Management Studio. I Ooh. have my SQL on-premises up and running. So remember that if you have on-premises connection, in my case, this is my local host, this is my local machine, I install my SQL server, I have a connection to my database engine, I can go ahead and connect that. And I, as I can see here, let me bring this here and show that I have all up and running with all different databases. Uh, here. So I have AdventureWorks, a couple of different databases, wide world importers as another kind of uh, databases. So I'm willing to connect to this local on premises and land the data into my fabric environment. What I should be doing next, let's go back to my environment. How I access this option here, remember that you can go ahead and click on the icon in the top right corner on your screen. And then there's this option over here 
to manage connections mm -hmm. and gateways. So back there, remember that if we install our gateway, this should be up and running. I'm showing that for you. Then in connections, I'm going to be able to go to my connection. I already have this connection up and running to connect to my local SQL server, but we can check on the settings on this connection. And as you can see, I have a connection name and then the connection type SQL Server. And in this case, I'm connecting to this database that is AdventureWorks DW 2019. I specific give the authentication method. I can choose between basic authentication or SQL authentication or Windows authentication. And I have this connection up and running. After I create the connection, the next step is try the connection itself. So I can go to my fabric tenant here and I can go to data factory and create a data pipeline to make this happen. In my case, I'm going to show you one of the data pipeline that I have created. I'm just using my copy data activity commands as we explained in several videos from PowerMates and then after I click on the copy data activity command, I am selecting to choose some of the connection details. I am using one connection to Fabric test SQL. This is the connection coming from my uh, on-premises gateway. And then I am choosing the type of connection here that I am connecting in this case to my SQL server. This is the importance to have all these prerequisites that is the gateway and the configuration of the gateway before getting the option to create a pipeline. So you need to create all those connections and all the installation from the on-premises gateway and then come in here and say, hey, I want to do an external data store type. I'm going to set up the connection that I already made in my on-premises gateway leveraging the connection type. Then, as you can see, I can choose the database and I can uh, quickly opt here to connect to any of my um, databases that I have up and running on my SQL Server. And then I can, in my case, choose which is the table that I am landing from this data pipeline. In this case, I am selecting the account table. I can, of course, do a preview of my data. And uh, last on this one is picking up a destination. What I'm doing here is landing data into a lake house. This is the name of my lake house. And I'm saying I want to create a new table called DIM accounts in my lake house. After I validate in the top of this screen, my pipeline, I can run this pipeline with this command right here, or I can schedule a daily basis or hourly basis to run the pipeline. And after that, I can go ahead in the left of my screen. I already have my lake house open here, and I can see that the DIM accounts is landing the data right away, running my pipeline command in the data factory stream out of Microsoft Fabric. So pretty much this is how you can connect with multiple on-premises sources and land data from on-premises into our Microsoft Fabric environment. That's awesome, Gaston. And, and, and also, I must start thinking on how to connect with different sources on premise is something that we, we can explore, start exploring. So, OK, PowerMate. That's all for today's video. Uh, leave some of your comments and, and like the video. And also uh, let us know uh, if you want to see something particular on, on next videos. Yep. Uh, stay tuned because we are coming with more in-depth insights, tutorials, and exciting news. We're here in our channel. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock the full potential on Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric. Yeah.